Hey folks, today we've got lots of tech news, AI updates, including a new open AI model, home-focused humanoid robots, and Adobe's revolutionary video generator. So let's dive right into the news. News one, is this GPT full analysis of OpenAI's new O1 model? This reasoning AI is impressive, yet unsettling, don't you think? News two, humanoid robots for your home. Meet 1X's Neo Beta. Would you have one of these at home? Would you leave it alone with your kids? News 3. No one's ready for Adobe Firefly Video AI. This new video generator aims to leverage Adobe's powerful ecosystem to outpace OpenAI and Google. I've used Firefly for images and my company uses Adobe Premiere for editing. Plus they own Photoshop and After Effects so I believe Adobe could really make it. Do you use any Adobe apps? Do you use any Adobe apps? Hey everyone, ever wondered about an AI model that could think deeply before answering? Today we'll explore OpenAI's latest innovation, the O1 model. I'll spell it out for clarity. It's the letter O followed by the number one. So whenever I say O1, you'll know what I mean. It may redefine AI, but does it really outperform GPT-4 in all areas? How can this chain of thought change AI performance? Stay tuned as we uncover what the future of AI holds. Before we start, comment if you think AI will surpass human reasoning in complex tasks. I want to hear your thoughts before we dive in. Don't forget to like and share this video link in WhatsApp and Telegram groups to keep your friends updated on this topic. Deal? Shall we continue? In today's video, we're discussing a surprising new development from OpenAI. They've just announced a new series of models, and it seems the GPT name has been retired. Does this mean we won't see the much anticipated GPT? This news might be related to OpenAI's strawberry hype, which has a video on this channel you can watch later about the strawberry model that's been generating a lot of buzz recently. But hold on, let's dive into all the details of this promising new O1 model series. The O1 series features two models, O1 Preview and O1 Mini with Mini being a more affordable version. Both offer an impressive context window of 128,000 tokens. What changes besides price is speed and performance. O1 Preview is 3, 4 times pricier than GPT-4 but takes 20, 30 seconds to respond. Its performance is impressive, surpassing benchmarks in physics, chemistry, and biology. And this is where things get really interesting. For context, GPT-4, the previous state of the art, only solved 13% of problems in an international math exam. And it got 83% correct. That's a 70% accuracy jump. The O1 Mini, a basic version, still performed well, solving about 56% of problems. These numbers are impressive and show a significant AI advancement. Despite this progress in logic and reasoning, this model isn't a jack of all trades. We're not talking about an AI that excels in every area. In fields like literature, advances were minimal, so while it's great at complex problems, we're far from AGI. There's a video about this on the channel, but we're definitely looking at something that could really shake up the AI landscape. Now you might be wondering, how did they pull this off? Well, they didn't spill all the beans, but they did mention that the big breakthrough here is using chain of thought with reinforcement learning. Basically, the model mulls over its own answers before sharing them, fine-tuning with each interaction. This thought process is baked into the model's training, making it way more solid in logical reasoning tasks. It's worth diving deeper into this chain of thought concept. They're using a technique that lets the model think longer and harder before spitting out an answer. The cool part is, the more time the model spends thinking, the better it gets at reasoning tasks. This opens up a whole new ballgame for scaling AI models. The big question is, how far can this go? Let's dive a bit deeper into this. Rumors suggest the model can generate up to 100,000 tokens in its private thought process for each query. While unconfirmed, this aligns with the function's limit of 30 messages weekly for paid users. Sounds pretty restrictive, doesn't it? 
Still, the impact of this extra thinking time on responses could revolutionize AI use. We'll see if this trend sticks around. OpenAI found that longer thinking time leads to unprecedented accuracy levels. This shift in using computing power is a major breakthrough. Instead of all pre-training, the focus now includes inference time. The question is, does more thinking time always mean better results? Can it reflect for hours or days to give more precise answers? Only time and further testing will tell. This may seem familiar as thought chain research exists, but open eyes refined techniques are outperforming other models. Caution is wise as benchmarks aren't the only success measure. The O1 preview is just a glimpse of what's to come. We'll keep watching and share updates in the coming weeks. After analyzing OpenAI's O1, it's clearly a major AI breakthrough. Its logical reasoning shows promise for complex tasks. However, remember this tech isn't a cure-all yet. OpenAI nailed their specialty, but other areas need work. What do you think about this new model? Has the update reached you yet? Are we close to an all-solving AI or is there still a long road ahead? Let's keep this discussion going in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, like, share and hit subscribe. Check out the suggested videos popping up on your screen now. See you in the next video. Take care. Hey folks, ever imagined a humanoid robot in your home helping with daily chores? Today we'll explore Enio, a robot that does housework and interacts in surprisingly human ways. How might it change our routines and how far can we trust a machine so involved in our lives? Would you leave your kids with it? We'll answer these intriguing questions throughout the video. But first, you know the drill. Comment below if you'd use such a robot and if you'd leave your kids alone with it. Don't forget to like and share this video link in WhatsApp groups to keep your friends informed. Deal? Let's continue. Folks, NEO is the latest humanoid robot from 1X, a company specializing in robotics. NEO differs from the robots we're used to seeing in industrial settings. It's designed for home testing, hinting at a future where these robots could be part of our daily lives. Curious how it might change our routines? During the demo, NEO interacted with people which is rare for humanoid robots. Usually robots focus on specific tasks or durability tests, but NEO seems to aim for a more personal touch. It can help with household chores requiring trust as it'll be present in our homes and daily lives. Able to walk, run, and climb stairs, its capabilities look quite promising. NEO wears human clothes, making it appear more person-like and less machine-like. This could be for aesthetics or to protect the tech behind its muscle structure. But will this closeness to humans bring comfort or unease, especially in a world raised on sci-fi films where machines war with humans like The Matrix or Terminator? Moreover, how will NEO interact with OpenAI's AI like ChatGPT that powers it? These are crucial questions to ponder. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments below. These are just some mysteries we'll unravel in upcoming tests. With 1x, NEO will be placed in select homes this year for research. What can we expect from this experiment? I think humanoid robots like NEO mark a huge leap in merging tech and daily life. Seeing machines not just working but interacting humanly shows robotics future is nearing. But this also raises important questions. Are we ready to coexist so closely with AI and robots? This video doesn't end here. It continues in the comments. If you find this news interesting, like, share, and subscribe. No one's ready for the new Adobe Firefly Video AI. Folks, if you think making awesome videos takes tons of time and tech skills, Prepare to have your mind blown. Today we're diving into a tool that could totally change how you edit and produce content. Adobe Firefly lets you create cinematic scenes with text, animate without expertise, and even extend clips without reshooting. Want to know how it's possible? And what else can this AI do for your creativity? Let's uncover all of this in today's video. To kick things off, you know the drill. Comment below if you think AI like Adobe Firefly will really streamline video creation 
or if you still prefer the old school way of doing everything by hand. I'm eager to hear your thoughts on this. Don't forget to like and share this video link in WhatsApp and Telegram groups to keep your friends updated on this topic. Deal? Shall we continue? Adobe just unveiled major updates to their Firefly video model set to revolutionize video editing. This isn't just an update or cool feature, it's a game changer for all editors and content creators. I can already imagine its impact in the coming months. In March 2023, Adobe launched Firefly, their collection of generative AI models. Since then, this tool has been a hit in the creative world, making life easier for designers and creators. Features like generative fill-in Photoshop and removal in Lightroom show how Firefly is shaking up the industry. The numbers speak for themselves. Over 12 billion images and vectors have been created with this tech. Now, Adobe targets video with Firefly and the timing's perfect. Videos drive TikTok, Instagram Reels and YouTube Shorts. Content demand is huge and creator deadlines are tightening. Quick quality editing and effects have been a major challenge. This is where Firefly's new video model will be game changing. It adds tools and opens creative doors to speed up production. One standout feature is text to video generation. This function lets you create full videos from text prompts. Plus, camera controls let you adjust angle, motion, and zoom. Imagine asking for a moose in a snowy forest at sunset, and in minutes, Firefly delivers exactly that. But that's not all. The image to video feature turns any still into a dynamic clip adding motion without needing pro animation skills. For Premiere Pro users, Generative Extends will be a game changer. It lets you stretch clips, smooth transitions or extend scenes to improve pacing, ever editing and need a few more seconds to sync with the music. Instead of quick fixes or reshoots, you just generate extra frames and keep going. And the result? Seamless, with no awkward cuts or forced transitions. Adobe is also addressing the ethical aspects of this tech. The Firefly model for videos is fully commercial safe. This means it's trained only on content Adobe has permission to use. There's no risk of using copyrighted content without consent, avoiding future legal issues. Now let's look at practical examples where Firefly really shines. Imagine you're working on a project and need a shot of a snowy forest at sunset, but you couldn't capture that scene during production. Instead of searching for stock footage or reshooting, Firefly lets you generate the scene. Say you want a drone shot moving through trees with cinematic lighting. In minutes, Firefly creates a high quality video that fits perfectly in your project. And it doesn't stop there. If you need elements like fire, smoke, dust or water effects, AI can create it all. Then just use tools like Premiere Pro or After Effects to add these elements to your footage. For instance, if you need realistic flames in a scene, you can create a fire overlay and add it right to your video. For animation lovers, Firefly helps create 2D or 3D animations, even stop motion without needing to be a pro animator. Another Firefly strength is customizing text effects. If you want a specific effect, like a word forming from ice, just describe it to the AI. It also offers advanced camera controls like angle, movement, and zoom, picture a scene with an erupting volcano, lava flying in slow-mo and splashing on the lens. Firefly can generate this intensity with all the lighting and motion details you need. Collaboration also becomes much easier. Adobe already has tools like Frame.io to streamline team collaboration. Now, with Firefly, you can quickly create visuals or animations to showcase ideas. This speeds up the process and keeps everyone in sync. The Generative Stand feature is a real game changer. When editing, if you need a few extra seconds of footage to adjust scene pacing instead of slowing down or looping video, Firefly generates additional frames seamlessly. It analyzes video motion, lighting and textures to create frames that blend perfectly. Adobe has been working closely with creatives to ensure Firefly meets editors' needs. 
To test this revolutionary tech, sign up for early access on Firefly's website. Just head over there and join the waiting list. I'll leave the link in the video description. You'll be notified when it's available. Firefly will change video editing, enabling more creative content without time or budget constraints. In my view, Adobe Firefly will revolutionize video creation and editing. These new AI tools aren't just extra support, they're game changers with text to video and generative extensions. End. It'll boost efficiency and creativity in production. Imagine creating high quality content, beating time and budget limits. Now I'm curious, what do you think of these innovations? Share your thoughts in the comments. This video continues with our discussion in the comments. If you found this interesting, like share and subscribe.